So the Welsh National is next end, and this is always a cracking race. And it's over three miles and five furlongs. And some good horses in this one. It's a grade three handicap. The top one is Maximo Impact for Joshua Sutherland. Neymar de Silva for Paul Rhodes. Pray for another day, Joshua Sutherland. The Black Mouse for John Morgan. Tango Orange for Kevin Mina. And Joe Farrell for John Morgan. Pig in a basket. Pig in a basket. Pig in a basket for Carla Regante. Hole in your soul for Darren Thompson. Timothy Dalton, Paul Rhodes. Eves Delight, Ponty Paul Racing. That's Graham Clitterbuck. San Dossione for Molly at Surfer. Tillsworth Glenboy for Obi Wan. In traction for Kevin Meenahan. Ashton for James Follis. There's a creep for Stu Gray. Fenestra for Tam King. Now and then for Marty Lidham. Moon Lake for Jim Murray. Venture to Cognac. Marty Lidham. Rustic Rain and Fifth Marriage for Alex Cherry. And Ellis Rich for Carl Arrogante. So 22 then. A good big field for the Welsh Nationals is what we want to see proper good big fields for proper big races and this is good stuff as they come past the big screen past the winning post the Morgan pair I'm going to show the way home it would seem they've got a long long way to go yet uh, Joe Farrell the black mess lead by a couple still in a stiff pace the creek is up there in third. That one's been around a long time. Usually runs a decent race. And it's bound to win before the season's out. He hasn't done already. As they come to the first of 22. And they all seem to be over that one. Okay. With Joe Farrell the leader. By about half a length. The Black Mass second. Gap of a good five lengths then to the creek in third. Then pig in a basket. And a gap of a couple of lengths to Fenestra as they take that ditch. And uh, something's fallen there. We've lost one. Moon Lake's gone. So, first the Jim Murray's is gone. In fact, that might be the only Jim Murray in this race. I think he's only got one. So, bad luck for Jim there. As they take number three. And uh, something else has gone. Now Ashton's gone. That one's been around for a season or two. You'd think I'll be able to jump by now. It's been uh, running for a long time, that one. Ooh, and that leader was right down on his nose there. Goodness gracious me. The black mouse was lower than a mouse when he got down on the floor there. The jockey somehow managed to pull the horse's head up and get him going again. But, um, oh, now the other one did it. Crikey. What's going on here? The supreme national hunt trainer, long distance trainer, John Morgan. And he's got Black Mouse and Joe Farrell first and second, but they've both given a fence an almighty wallop already, and there's still a long way to go. So, a wide open race, and they are well strung out already. And that's because the Black Mouse is sitting at a pretty stiff pace at this stage of the race. So, down to number six then. And over that one they go. See them all over. I think they all got over that one okay. We've just lost two so far. Moon Lake and Ashton, but the Black Mouse is the leader. By about four. To Joe Farrell second. And picking a basket third. And Zacrete's after that one. Gap then to Fenestra and Timothy Dalton. Over number eight they go. And over nine as well. Now that's eight. Or seven before. And we've lost another one there. San Lociano has gone. So that's one of the old Molliet Surfer horses out of the race. As they now do take number nine. Mm, eventually the Cognac gave that one a bit of a wallop as well. So the jumping's not been that good. To say these are supposed to be seasoned handicap chasers as they take the next. And they all got over that one okay in the end down towards the next end. I caught past the stand shortly. That's the water jump. Which I'm sad to say is probably going to be the last on the next circuit. I don't know why we don't get somebody to run this race that has got the proper course. Because the, the proper course is available. It won't really take a great deal of working out, would it? To run it on the right track. So they don't jump the water jump as the last fence. Because they shouldn't do. Anyway, the black mouse is the leader.
picking a basket second. Joe Farrell on the inside of that one is third. There's a gap of four or five then to Zacrete. Another gap of three to Fenestra as they take the next. And the Rhodes pair are together. Timothy Dalton and Neymar da Silva. Maximum impact is tracking them. So too is Hole in Your Soul. And they're pretty well braced out. And Ellis Rich has been pulled up at some point during the last few fences as well. So they take the next. Safely over that one, and with the black mouse in the lead, picking a blanket is second. Joe Farrell is third, Zacrete is four, then Fenestra is five, and Timothy Dalton is six. Maximum impact is after that one, and then comes Neymar to Silver and holding your soul as they take number 14. And all safely to the other side of it, picking a basket is definitely rivaling the Morgan pair and has gone on now by about three quarters of a length. To the Black Mouse in second. Joe Farrell in third. Then they get back to Fenestra and Zacrete. Then Maximum Moonpack. This is number 16. Oh, and there's a fall of there. That's Fenestra, I think, has gone. Fenestra crashed out there. And we're also getting one pulled up at the back. Looks like Rustic Rain is being pulled up. So two gone there in quick succession. But at the front of the field, it's picking a basket in the Black Mouse with Joe Farrell just behind them. And a gap of four to Zacrete. Then Timothy Dalton and Maximum Impact, Neymar to Silver. Another gap then to Tango Orange and in Traction. And also Hole in Your Soul, I think, is with them. Just behind them, Eve's Delight, Venture to Cognac, Tools of Glen Boys. They take the 17th. A mistake there by picking a blanket. Picking a basket, not a blanket. <laughs> it's the Black Mass in the lid. Black Mass then from Joe Farrell. The one that's now making a good move around the outside is Timothy Dalton. I think that one was a faller last week, but he's running okay today. And they've only got four and a half furlongs to go now then. And the Black Mass has gone for home. The Black Mass comes down to the 18th. Gets over it nicely. Being chased by Timothy Dalton. Then Joe Farrell's a creep was a faller there. That's a surprise. Over the 19th they go. And the Black Mass is the leader. And by about four lengths to Timothy Dalton in maximum impact. Loads of them have gone. Picking up baskets gone. Eve's Delight's gone. Interaction's gone. Venture to Cognac's gone. Missed all that. There's another fall there as well. That's Timothy Dalton's gone again there. So they're all falling over at the moment then. And it's the Black Mouse comes down towards the second last. That's the last real fence, I think. And it's the Black Mouse in the lead from Joe Farrell in second. We've got to have less finishing than started, I think. Now and then's gone now as well. And they race down towards the water jump, which is the last fence. And over it they go. And it's the Black Mass in the lead from Joe Farrell. Then Neymar de Silva's back in third. Holy your soul, he's full. But they're finishing well strong out here. This is like a procession or a carnival rather than a horse race. And it's the Black Mass. But he's being chased by Joe Farrell. But the Black Mass is going to have to hold on. And these two have been up there in the van all the way. And they've won it pretty easily, really. The Black Mass wins it. Joe Farrell is second. Then Neymar de Silva is third. Then two with Glenboy. Holding your soul, pray for the day. Maximum impact. And I think we had less finish than started. In a action pack race, the Black Mavs takes it for John Morgan. Joe Farrell for John Morgan was second. Neymar de Silva, Paul Rhodes is third. Tillsworth Glenboy for Obi Wan was fourth. Holding your soul for Darren Thompson was fifth. And as you can see, we had nine finish. And I think we had 22 start, didn't we? So, goodness me, quite a lot of casualties in that race.